expert at respiratory motion, we want to help. We believe the Expron Minute Ventilation Monitoring System can play a critical role in planning and implementing for the surge of patients being affected by the widespread coronavirus. COVID-19 is projected to be a critical challenge for healthcare institutions and workers. Projection models show that the healthcare system could get overwhelmed, especially through the death of staff, shortage of ventilators and hospital beds, and to treat COVID-19 patients. We are seeing this evolve in real time. While additional hours from existing staff and adjustments of logistics on the availability of hospital beds and ventilators dedicated to COVID-19 can assist in tackling this challenge, these options are costly and difficult to implement immediately. That becomes a critical concern as according to President Trump's briefing on March 16, 2020, COVID-19 could have an extended impact on the healthcare system through August. Here's what we know. Hyperventilation is an early sign of viral pneumonia, such as COVID-19. Subtle increases in the work of breathing can signal the progression of the disease that warrants an escalation of care. Minute ventilation data is the best and earliest way to assess and track respiratory status in any patient care area whether it be home, the emergency room, the ICU, the general hospital floor, a skilled nursing facility, even a long-term acute care facility. The Expron is the first and only monitor that measures minute ventilation in real time, non-invasively for non-intubated patients. The Expron can help provide decision support in COVID-19 patients to help drive triage and therapy, saving resources such as ventilators and staff without compromising patient care. COVID-19 is becoming a critical challenge for health institutions and workers. Minute ventilation monitoring is useful in real time, remote respiratory monitoring solutions and can help support patient and caregiver safety. Hospitals and healthcare systems can drive timely and cost-effective interventions by using the Expiron. Minute ventilation monitoring non-invasively measures the volume of air moved through the lungs in a minute, a comprehensive, earlier and more accurate indicator of a patient's respiratory status when compared to that of end tidal CO2 and oxygenation levels, acting as an EKG for the lungs. When you look at the triangle of acuity, the Expron can be very helpful early on at the bottom of the pyramid in the pre-hospital setting. This helps triage many patients needing more extensive evaluation and escalation of care. The Expiron can also be very helpful at the top of the triangle in the ICU, where critical decisions can save lives and resources, and everywhere in between, including the emergency room and the general hospital floor. If you test positive for COVID-19, the next thing you really want to know is if you have evolving pneumonia. The Expiron monitor, monitor can tell that before anything else by quantitating and reporting hyperventilation. This happens long before your oxygen level goes down. Actually, you breathe more initially to prevent hypoxia. So if early signs of respiratory deterioration is determined in the emergency room or at the patient's home or another place of quarantine, then therapy and closer observation could be implemented this would both ensure greater safety and actually accelerate care while minimizing overall resources, both staff and ventilators, which may be required. If you have the worried well either waiting for a test or a test result, the Expron could assure the patient of stable respiratory status and minimize their burden on the hospital system. In the emergency room, the Expiron could tell how physiologically significant the, the pneumonia is quickly 
escalating and the patient could be triaged quickly to the appropriate location and level of care. This optimizes care and reduces staffing burden in the emergency room. If you then have someone with early symptoms on a hospital floor, the Exron monitor can track early signs of respiratory deterioration so patients will not deteriorate too quickly with hypoxia. This allows you to improve patient safety while stretching staffing with focus on the sickest. The Exron provides objective data and decision support to when to implement additional therapy or transfer to the ICU. The Exron data well in advance of potential declines allow time for healthcare professionals and staff to properly put on protective equipment. A monitor that you can see from the doorway of a room or a central monitoring station means less close contact. Both these help keep staff safe and preserve personal protective equipment in the time of this shortage. In the ICU, the Exron will give objective criteria as to when you may want to intubate and put the patient on a ventilator. A critical insight when ventilators and staff are scarce and long before the patient is too stressed by failing for a long time, which would then require a longer duration on the ventilator. The patient also would be at overall greater risk with these longer ventilator days. Having the Exron to quantitate respiration after the patient has been taken off the ventilator can give confidence to healthcare providers, enabling them to remove the patient from the ventilator earlier. Again, saving ventilator and staffing resources. Sending sicker patients back to the general hospital floor, both COVID-19 patients as well as other patients with respiratory concerns, out of the ICU earlier with Experon monitoring can free up ICU beds. Monitoring patients at long-term acute care facilities or skilled nursing homes, perhaps even patients at home themselves, or in a holding area would be possible with home health nurses either on a daily basis or leaving the monitor on patients overnight to free up hospital beds. The Experon is easy to learn in about 15 minutes. Managing patients on the Experon monitor is simple. The displayed color graph makes it easy for clinicians to recognize subtle changes in a patient's real-time respiratory status and track the minute ventilation trend. Minute ventilation percent predicted is unique to the Experon monitor. We correct for patient size and provide a percent number for any given patient, where 100% would be normal for that patient size breathing normally at home while at rest. It is shown on the graph with a white line. The yellow shaded area on the graph is representing values between 40 to 80% of predicted minute ventilation. Patients residing in this area are showing signs of reduced respiration but are presumed not to have true hypoventilation episodes and presumed safe. The darker shaded area on the bottom of the graph is representing values below 40% of predicted minute ventilation. When a patient's values are below 40%, it's indicating they are having hypoventilation episodes. If the patient's minute ventilation percent predicted remains below 40% for a sustained amount of time, this will trigger an alarm. The darker shaded area on the top of the graph is representing values above 300% of predicted minute ventilation. When a patient's values are above 300%, it is representing hyperventilation moments. If the patient's minute ventilation percent predicted remains above 300% for a sustained amount of time, this will also trigger an alarm. The 
Expron disposable pad set is wearable for 24 hours before being replaced and should be replaced at the time of patient hygiene. The Expron is approved for use in both adult and pediatric patients. Keep in mind the FDA approval for use in pediatrics is for patients above the age of 12 months or 8 kilograms or greater in weight. Both adult and pediatric pad sets are non-detectable on x-ray and in both adult and pediatric pad sets, the pad sets stretch and pull out from a pouch accommodating all patient sizes. The Experon provides early, accurate, and actionable data. You can see in this example, the patient showed an increased work of breathing, which was above 300% minute ventilation percent predictive. Patients typically cannot tolerate this work of breathing for an extended period of time. The staff at the bedside were able to successfully increase the level of high flow oxygen therapy, which was being provided, which in turn decreased the patient's minute ventilation and tidal volume to a more sustainable level. In this second example, you can see that the patient had increased minute ventilation which was unsustainable over the hour and a half, and the patient was intubated successfully. In this third example, when you successfully transition from BiPAP to high flow nasal cannula, you should see no change in minute ventilation, however, an increase in tidal volume with a decrease in respiratory rate. Oftentimes, when a patient is on BiPAP, you can diagnose a simple mask leak with the Experon. A maneuver to adjust the mask for a better fit is all that is needed. That can be very critical during the treatment of COVID-19 patients. Knowing that the patient is benefiting from steroid therapies may be helpful. You will see an increase in tidal volume with the treatment if there is an effect for the patient. Responding to Experon alarms is simple. Regardless of the alarm type, staff should always start with a simple patient assessment of the respiratory status. Early bedside maneuvers can be taken quickly by staff to avoid the need to rescue. For further information, feel free to visit our website, www.respiratorymotion.com or call 781-373-163. Three six.